Who doesn't like the idea of having a ton of money? Well, if you want to invest your money in the right places and make a ton of money, then here's everything you need to know about how to invest like billionaire Mark Cuban. Number 5. Invest Your Savings While we've all heard of the advice that we should save our money, is it really a great idea to just keep money aside? Well, unless you're planning on using that money in the near future, there's a high chance that the money will depreciate over time. However, according to Mark Cuban, you should invest all of your savings into an SPX mutual fund. When doing this, make sure that you're investing your money in the cheapest SPX mutual fund that you can find. Instead of investing all of your savings into one or two high-performing stocks, it's better to put them in a mutual fund. This way you will be able to minimize the risk and still make some profit at the end of the day. Another piece of investing advice that Mark Cuban has to give is that while you should invest the majority of your savings into an SPX mutual fund, you should also invest 10% of it in a high-risk investment. But only invest 10% of your money and think of it as money that has gone down the drain, since there's very little chance that you might end up actually making any money out of this investment. However, on the off chance that you're able to hit the jackpot, you could turn that 10% into a huge amount of money. Well, before we get into more details about what Mike McLone has to say about investing money and why he thinks buying when everyone is fearful is a good idea, if you're liking our content so far, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button so you can get notified every time we post a new video. Number 4. Guide to Getting Rich If we're talking about making money and getting rich, there's no one better than Mark Cuban to take advice from. Out of the many pieces of advice that Mark Cuban can give about being rich, the one he thinks is the most notable is that you should always live like a student. What does he mean by that? Well, remember when you got your first job as a student and even thought you wanted to buy the fanciest car, you stopped yourself? Well, that's exactly what Mark Cuban is suggesting. Don't splurge your money on things that are not necessary. Secondly, you should never use credit cards if you want to keep a tight grip over your finances. It's just better to use a debit card in places where you want to avoid using cash. Thirdly, make sure that ever since you start learning, you're saving up on the side and you're able to save up at least six months on the income. While no one can promise job security, at least by saving up six months income, you'll have some emergency cash to turn to in case you get fired or something else. Number 3. Don't be greedy According to Mark Cuban, he went from being a millionaire to a billionaire within no time. From starting the world's first streaming website to becoming a huge success and selling stocks of the company to Yahoo, Mark Cuban went from being a millionaire to a billionaire. According to Mark Cuban, there's no benefit that comes out of being too greedy, and you need to ensure that you take calculated risks since the stock market is very volatile. Even at the time when Mark Cuban had sold his company to Yahoo, the stock market was at an all-time high and there was a major possibility of the market crashing down at any time, and that is exactly what happened a year later. If Mark and his friends had been greedy and chased the dollar instead of taking the right decision at the right time, he probably would have never achieved his billionaire status. Number 2. Buying a Jet Like anyone who's successful, Mark Cuban knows and fully comprehends the true value of his time and knows that no matter what, no one can put a price on how precious time is. For this reason, Mark Cuban purchased his own G5 jet so he could get to places whenever he wanted and save a ton of time instead of waiting endlessly at airports. Mark purchased this jet for a total of $40 million and marked it as the biggest online purchase ever. Additionally, he also bought the Dallas Mavericks in an attempt to improve their performance and help the team reach its full potential. According to Mark Cuban, if you want to make the most out of a company or anything you own, you need to ensure that the employees are satisfied and look forward to coming to work. And this is exactly what he did before making a ton of money from his deal with the Dallas Mavericks. Number 1. Real Estate Real estate is one window of opportunity that a lot of people want to invest in, but only a few have the privilege to do so. Mark Cuban took a leap of faith when he invested $12.5 million in a property that was initially constructed for $25 million. Ever since he bought the house, the price has shot upwards, and Mark was able to secure the property at a much lower rate than what had gone into making the house. Well, if you want to be rich and successful, you need to find something that you're good at, then become the best at it. Learn how to sell whatever you're good at, and always be curious and open to learning new things. Once you've reached your financial goals, start investing your money wisely.